This is basic example for nodal analysis, which is based on Kirchhoff's current law. So for KCL, you know that for a particular node, the sum of total entering current should be equals to the current going outside the node. Suppose we are having incoming current as I1 and outgoing currents are I2 and I3. So we can say that I1 will be equals to I2 plus I3. So similarly, whenever we are applying nodal analysis at a particular node, first see the given circuit. Here we have to assume one grounded node. So if we assume this potential is grounded, it will be having at zero potential, it will be having zero potential value. Now we can see this is nine volt supply here. So this terminal is already at ground terminal. So this will be having nine volt at this node and it will be having plus six volt at this node. So there is one unknown which is V here. Suppose the unknown is having value VA. This current is already given that we have to find out current across two kilo ohm resistance. This current is already given as IX. So suppose we are having one current as incoming I1 and we can also assume current as I2. So we can assume current in uh, inward or downward or uh, outward direction here. So just apply KCL at node VA, we can find out the value of I1 plus I2. It should be equal to the value of Ix here. Now, the main purpose of node analysis is to represent this current in terms of voltages and resistances. So we can see that the I1 is coming from 9 volt supply and it is going towards the VA terminal. So it will be the potential difference across this one kilo ohm resistance is 9 minus VA. When we divide this resistance value, it will be giving you the value of total current that is I1. Next thing is I2, again the similar thing will be here, it will be 6 minus VA divided by 4 and it should be equals to the potential difference across this 2 kilo ohm which is VA minus 0. This VA minus 0 divided by this 2 kilo ohm. Since all the denominators are having 2 kilo ohm sorry kilo ohm value so we can remove this kilo ohm from this side so just we are having single expression which will be having value of va here so after finding the value of va we can easily find out the value of ix so ix value will be easily it will be equals to va divided by 2 kilo ohm it will be your ix value so similarly once va is obtained we can easily find out the value of i1 because i1 is equals to 9 minus va divided by 1 kilo ohm and next I2 will be equals to 6 minus VA divided by 4 kilo ohm. If the value of VA is coming as higher, uh, is coming as higher than 6 volt, in that case, we can see that the current direction can be reversed. So you will be getting negative value of current. This implies that the I2 should be having opposite direction as we have assumed for the given circuit. 